Somewhere there's a special beer for heavenly day-to-day -day moments. Welcome back everybody to A Buzz With Your Cuz. We are in our second installment of Oktoberfest beers. Uh, catch you up really quickly. We tasted Spaten. First beer of Oktoberfest. So what did we do? We started with Numero Uno, the one that starts the whole thing off. Uh, so comment below, have you tried Spaten? I think you're gonna be really excited about this beer here today, although I have to say it is a little bit lower on the alcohol content. In fact, it is the lowest of all of the beers served at Oktoberfest. But don't worry, at 5.8%, it still has a pretty good buzz for your buck, or bang for your buck, whatever, however you wanna look at it. We are talking about Hackershore Oktoberfest Merzen. Since 1417, folks, the very first Hackershore, in fact, well, it was actually Hacker at the corner of uh, Sendlinger and uh, Hackerstrasse, which was Hacker Street, Hackerstrasse. That's where they got their start. And today, you could actually still go there and uh, it's open as a restaurant. I think it's uh, the, the Ulta's Hacker House restaurant uh, where the food is good and I bet the beer is even better and the buzz is heavenly. All right, so we have our symbol here. Hacker and Shure coming together on the cap. Uh, really nice. So Hacker, I guess, let's put that back up there for a second. It's two axes. And Shure, starting with a P. P in the star. Hacker Shure. Okay, <laughs> let's get this thing open. Um, it actually says right here on the bottle, Hacker Shure is considered a special beer for the heavenly day-to-day -day moments. We call it Heaven, Bavar Heaven in Bavaria. You call it Hackershore. I will call it my next beer. Let's get this in here again. This is uh, the, the lowest beer served. It's got a nice caramel color to it. Very amber, actually. You can call it like honey. It looks pretty good. Nice pour, I could smell I could definitely smell the hops. We could smell the caramel, the malt. Very, very fragrant. Mm. Now, Merzen's, Merzen means March in German. These were all beer, uh, beers that were brewed in March because it was forbidden to brew in the summertime because the, the boiling activities are considered to be a fire hazard. So they cranked up the alcohol percentage to create these special beers. Now only six of these are served at the original Oktoberfest. Hackershore is one of them. Spotten was the one we did last time. How is this first at? Completely different, but exactly the same, right? <laughs> Traditional recipes, both uh, brewed in Munich and uh, quite tasty, very balanced. Again, you get that, that caramel, the toasted malt. This tastes like fall in a glass. It's actually welcoming fall in at this period of time. And uh, we'll learn a little bit more about Oktoberfest and the beers as we go through uh, the remainder of the breweries. I believe that this would go really well with bratwurst and pretzels or just a, just a bunch of friends on any day of the week. It's a shame that they only make these once a year because I feel like this is an everyday drinker. It's just very, uh, you know, the hops are present. It's not bitter, it's very balanced. It has that wonderful flavor and it just makes you want to drink it. Hashtag Hacker Shore. Comment below, um, follow us here if you're not, if you're not already, uh, you don't want to miss any of the other breweries or beers. Yeah, you'll be able to uh, come along on this journey with us. You'll be prepared to have your own Oktoberfest beers at home or with friends, or maybe even one of the restaurants one day. Have you seen this before? Comment below. Uh, we're looking forward to rounding off the remainder of our breweries uh, with special facts about each one and what you can do to pair it with a food or drink on an empty stomach. 
only if you're of legal drinking age in your local municipality are you allowed to buzz with these beers. Follow us here if you want. Definitely comment below. We'd love to hear from you. What beer do you think is coming next? We're looking forward to closing out this series, and that is your buzz with your cuz. We'll see you next week when we have another beer. Could be tomorrow.